Wow, 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 wow. I am Atmex is the proud sponsor of the Silver Picker YouTube channel. And Whatnot is the sponsor of today's video. Thank you both for your support. Hello everybody, Silver Picker here, and in today's video, I'm going to be unboxing this $250 monstrosity of a grab bag that I purchased on eBay. Now, I bought it from a relatively new seller named Lucky Duck. What intrigued me about this listing was that in the listing itself was referenced several YouTubers' reviews of the grab bag, including Rob Finds Treasure, Silver Seeker, and other YouTubers that I know. So I wanted to find out whether or not this lived up to the hype. Now, I mean, if the reviews are listed in the eBay listing, then of course they must have been good. So I wanted to do it myself, and to make sure that nobody questions the validity of this review, I had the grab bag sent to my good friend Julius. You can see the thank you note is addressed to Julius. So Lucky Duck has no idea that this grab bag was sent to me, the silver picker, to review on my channel. So come along with me for the ride. We're gonna find out whether or not the $250 that I spent was worth it or whether you should avoid it. So as I always say, enough of the jibber jabber and let's check out the coins. Okay, so here we've got our grab bag, but before we crack into this, I wanna show you this. This came with the grab bag and it says, as a token of my appreciation, here's your customer appreciation gift. These are given to all first time buyers. It contains items to help you along your coin collecting journey. Happy collecting from Lucky Duck. Now check this out. Now this was not in the listing. He didn't send this to me. He didn't say he was gonna send it to me, but it comes with a stapler for stapling in all the two by twos, which it comes with. It comes with a little magnet. It even comes with chocolate coins. That's a really nice touch some silica gel packets. I don't really use those, but it's still interesting. A pair of latex gloves uh, to help with your collecting endeavors, various sizes of Mylar flips, and even some holders for currency, both soft and hard. But the important thing is the coins. Let's make sure that the coins actually meet the $250 threshold. And if it does, then this might be one of the best grab bags ever. But for sure, he's already off to a good start. All right, and the main attraction. Let's check out the grab bag. Ooh, we've got lots of goodies in there, lots of goodies. Let's start with this flat item over here. Okay, a little bit of a light start. It looks like we've got ourselves a two set of Iowa State quarters. I don't think these are mint state. I don't think these are proof. This is just kind of like, you know, one of these uh, little gimmicks. It is an official United States mint product, which is better than uh, some of that other nonsense that you see. So not horrible, but if you're curious, obviously you can follow along in the bottom left-hand side of the screen and see, do we make it to $250 to break even? Do we surpass it and make a profit? Or, well, do we fall short and lose money on it? So let's go on to the next item. Okay, next up we have a little bundle of coins. We've got a 2000P, and it says MS67, but you know, unless it's from an official grading company, ignore the grades on there and treat it as a raw coin. So we have a 2000P Sacagawea qu uh, quarter, Sacagawea dollar. We have, okay, we got silver. We've got a 1957 MS66 dime. We have an uncirculated 1962D dime, so another piece of silver. And we've got what looks like a 1919S wheat cent. Okay, not super interesting coins, but certainly two pieces of silver right off the bat is not bad at all. And we've still got a heck of a lot of stuff. Oh, hey, all right. Next little batch has a peace dollar in there. What do we have over here? All right, a 1923 peace dollar. It's kind of beat to hell, but still. Peace dollar is peace dollar, silver is silver. That ain't bad and I am not mad at that at all. We've got one 1967 Kennedy half, which of course is 40% silver. And then we have a 2012, not intended for circulation Kennedy half dollar as well. This one is not silver. Oh, nice, look at that. Look at that. We've got ourselves, I'll take this one out of the two by two. We've got ourselves a two cent piece. I love obsolete currency. For anybody that has been watching my channel for a long time, you know I love two cent coins. I love the three cent silvers, three cent nickels, 20 cent coins. And we got ourselves a run of the mill Buffalo nickel. It's 1937, pretty standard. And oh, what do we have over here? Look at that, we've got ourselves a ancient coin. This looks like an ancient Roman coin. It actually has quite a bit of detail on there, really nice. I'm gonna have to ask my good friend Mark, who is one of my Patreon patrons, who is an expert in 
ancient coins to uh, help me identify this. And I guess that's a good as plug as any for uh, my Patreon. If you're interested in joining my Patreon, you can find the links below, support the channel, and of course, get access to my private Discord server where we have a lot of fun talking about coins, collectibles, all sorts of stuff. Anyway, this is very cool because most of the time when you get these ancient coins and grab bags, you get them where they're all beat up and you can barely see anything, but this actually has quite good detail. Next up, we've got another little bundle over here. Ooh, is that silver? Is that silver? What do we have over here? Heck yeah, look at that. Battle of the Coral Sea, War in the Pacific. That is really cool. And it should say silver on there. I'm guessing it's marked, let's see. Yeah, right there. Half ounce 999 silver 2015 from Australia. That is fantastic. Not bad to get a nice little piece of silver right there. And in addition to that, we also have a Kennedy half dollar stylized copper round. And you know I'm not a big copper round guy, but you know if you get them for free and you're not paying anything extra for it, they're kind of cool. They're nice little collector's pieces. I don't have anything against them in this context. All right, we've got our first little pouch. Let's move all this stuff aside. We've got our first little baggie. I'm excited for that. This usually means good stuff, good stuff. Let's see, what do we have? Wow. First off, we've got a pretty nice 1853 Seated Liberty Half Dime. This one actually might be good enough to go into my typeset and actually replace what I already have. This might be an upgrade. This is really nice. That's pretty solid. And then, oh wow, another seated coin. What do we have over here? We have a seated dime. This one's damaged. This one's damaged, as you can see. It looks like it was used as like a cuff link or an earring or something. 1853 as well. Oh, wow. Okay, it was definitely used as a piece of jewelry. This is like a love token style. Uh, it might have been a cuff link. Now, this is more of like an interesting like historical numismatic piece as opposed to something that's actually, you know, worth money beyond, uh, oh, actually, it might, it might be an M, which is actually pretty great because, you know, the silver picker's real name is Max. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, so I mean, this is definitely not, you know, it's a damaged coin, but it's still a really interesting historical piece. Now, I should point out that Lucky Duck messaged me when I first bought the grab bag and asked me what I collect because he wanted to tailor the grab bag to my interests. That is incredible. I think that that is absolutely, absolutely amazing. And it was just such a breath of fresh air from an eBay seller. And right now I'm seeing that he really did stick to uh, what, I, what I suggested, right? Obviously there's some filler in there, you know, like this kind of thing, that's filler. And you can expect that from any coin grab bag. And for me, as a more advanced collector, I'm not so into that. But for new collectors, kids, etc., they might be really into it. And if you're not sure what you collect yet, a grab bag is a good way to start because you get a smattering of all different types of things and you can see what you like and what you don't like. What I actually asked him for is I said, I know it's probably not gonna happen because I really am just trying to fill out the rest of my US type set, which of course I'm only looking for sort of heavy hitter coins right now. I specifically said I'm looking for a Seated Liberty dollar coin. Now he gave me a bunch of Seated Liberty coins and uh, this is a Seated Liberty half dollar, which is incredible and it's in really, really excellent shape. It's an 1858O, which is really, really nice. And in that same little bundle, look at this, another Seated coin, another Seated coin, look at that an 1853, excuse me, an 1858 Seated Liberty Quarter. And some of these might actually be good enough to make replacements in my typeset. So I don't expect to have the Seated Dollar there, but he definitely, definitely took my suggestions and really made good on them. I am very pleased with this grab bag so far. And look, there's still plenty more to go. Look at that. All right, let's take the next item out. Let's go with this, another little, little sachet. What do we have over here? Wow, the hits don't stop. The hits don't stop. We've got ourselves a Standing Liberty Quarter from 1930. We've got ourselves a Walking Liberty Half from 1939. You know, these are in worn shape, but still, we're getting so much silver for our money here. And look at this, a Barber Dime from 1911. And Barber Dimes are notoriously in terrible shape. And this one's actually not so bad. I mean, obviously it's in worn condition, it's circulated, but you usually get these and they are like rubbed slick. So I have to say so far, the quality of this grab bag is 
excellent. I, I understand why Silver Seeker and Rob Finds Treasure found these grab bags and reviewed them. I should admit, I actually didn't watch their videos because I didn't want it to uh, spoil my, my surprise. Um, but I'm definitely gonna go check them out and I'm guessing that they were very, very pleased with it. I mean, already, look at this. I mean, look how much silver is here already. We still have a ton of stuff to go through and all of this is silver. Look at this, all this is silver. Oh, and plus these, I forgot about those. I mean, at the beginning when I saw this first, I was like, well, here we go. This grab bag is not gonna be much, but already we're still not done. And look at all this incredibly, really like high quality, high end stuff. Very, very pleased with that. Okay, let's move on. Let's get this good stuff out of the way and hopefully make room for more good stuff. Okay, we've got two more items it looks like. We've got a quarter. Oh, okay, a 1951 silver quarter. I mean, look, the hits don't stop. It's just silver on silver on silver on silver. It's really fantastic. Okay, we've got one little sachet left, and I am excited because it feels like graded coins. It feels like, oh yeah, look at that. We got two graded coins right there. Okay, let's check out the first one. All right, the first one is a beautiful mercury dime. I am super stoked for that. And you guys can put your guesses for the grades in the comments. I wanna see, be honest, be honest, no cheating. Put your grade guesses. I'm gonna guess that this is an MS-62. That's, that's my guess right here but I wanna hear your thoughts. But before I reveal the grade, I also wanna thank the sponsor of today's video, which is Whatnot. Whatnot is an incredible live video auction platform in which bidders and sellers can come together in real time to buy and sell all sorts of collectibles. And I am one such of those sellers, and I'm also a buyer on there too, but I am going to be doing a Whatnot auction and I'm going to be selling all the coins, all of this amazing silver, all this stuff. I'm gonna be selling everything that doesn't go into my personal collection at my next Whatnot auction. and. If you use my link to download the Whatnot app, that's whatnot.com slash invite slash silver picker, not only do you get access to the incredible platform for free, but you also get $15 in Whatnot credit absolutely free. Let me put that to you in more interesting terms. Let's say this is like a $15 coin. I would post this in my buy it now for 15 bucks. You sign up, use my link, go over to my buy it now, and you buy this coin using your credit and you get it for free literally for free. I think you might have to pay a couple dollars shipping, that's through the Whatnot app, but in any case, you get this silver for free. Don't sleep on this deal. They just raised it actually from 10 to 15 bucks. So right now, you have a killer opportunity. I don't think it's gonna last forever, so get it while the getting's good, and get yourself some free silver. I'm gonna be posting tons and tons of stuff at my next Whatnot auction and in my Whatnot store right now for $15 or less. So download the app, and you straight up guaranteed to get free silver, so do it. In any case, whatnot.com slash invite slash silver picker, and the grade reveal, MS-65, wow, holy moly, that is not bad at all. It's in 1944, that is not bad at all. NGC, sweet, sweet coin. Okay, and let's see, for the last item, the last item, what do we have? We've got a penny. Okay, well we've got, it's an NGC graded coin, 1937D. I don't know anything about this, I don't know Interesting, interesting. Okay, what is it? Let's see. Put your grade guesses in. I'm gonna guess MS61? MS66, holy moly. MS66 red, that's really, really good. That is a really good grade. Man, you'll see the, uh, the value before I do, but that is absolutely spectacular. Wow, 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 wow. I am absolutely in shock here. I am head over heels happy with this grab bag. Holy moly, was this a good grab bag. This is the best grab bag that I have had in ages. I mean, look at the value, first of all. The value was insane. And this, remember, was a true blind opening grab bag. The seller had no idea who I am. I ordered it to my friend's house under his name completely disconnected from Silver Picker, the seller, Lucky Duck, Lucky Duck over here had no idea that this grab bag was going to be used in a YouTube video and seen by thousands of people. This is an authentic review and we profited like 50 bucks on it. Plus, it's not just like a bunch of junk that adds up to a lot. I mean, there were like five Seated Liberty coins. There were two really nice high grade graded coins. Peace dollar, I mean, I could go on. 
Anyway, I had such a good time. Thank you very much, Lucky Duck, for being a great seller on eBay. I will likely try this again with you, and again, I'll order it from a different friend. Lucky Duck, if you're watching, you'll have no idea that it's me ordering it, but if you keep doing good and you keep giving people great deals, I am sure you're going to be extremely successful. Anyway, for all of you watching, if you like seeing videos like this on coin collecting, precious metals investing, even personal finance, hit the subscribe button, and while you're down there, throw me a like. It means the world to me, but it only takes you just a second. Anyway, thank you so much. I've got a lot more awesome stuff coming down the pike, so stay tuned, and until then, Silver Picker out. A huge, huge thank you to all of my wonderful patrons. You guys are amazing. If you are not yet a patron, well, now's the time to join because not only do you get access to our incredible Discord server, but I'm producing more and more Patreon exclusive videos every single week. So if you want to join and support the channel and get more Silver Picker while you're at it, the links are below and I can't wait to meet you in our private Discord server.